Hello everyone, welcome to Auricular Medicine, brought to you by Lamp Acu Wellness Foundation Inc. as part of its continuing Lamp Lecture series. Topics, points of Kavum Concha and points of Simba Concha. The 13 points of the Kavum Concha are organs of the thoracic region. The Concha is the fossa bounded by the tragus, incisura, antitragus, antihelix, inferior cruise of the antihelix and root of the helix, into which opens the external auditory canal. It is usually bisected by the cruise helix into the simba superiorly and cavum inferiorly. Point 35 is the mouth point. Curves like a smile to parallel the lateral border of the external auditory meatus. The mouth is used to increase or decrease appetite used with hunger point in weight loss and stop smoking protocols to reduce both appetite and oral fixation. The mouth point is also called the anti-fatigue point because it is in a very tender area, stimulating the mouth point is invigorating. This makes it effective in counteracting fatigue. The mouth point stimulates appetite or desire for food. Increase in fuel from food consumption increases energy. The mouth point treats mouth ulcers, canker sores, deviation of the mouth. It has an invigorating effect if dispersion technique is applied. Contraindicated when treating fatigue that accompanies insomnia, as excess stimulation can keep the patient awake. The mouth point can be stimulated in the day for fatigue. The insomnia point is used in the evening to induce sleep. Point 36 is heart point deepest point of the cavum concha at the level of the center of the mouth point. Eyeball this area, put the probe in the cavum concha, then search with probe for deepest point. The heart point is for all heart problems in both oriental and western diagnosis. In western diagnosis, the heart point is used for tightness in the chest, palpitations, angina, circulation problems, hypertension, mitral valve prolapse, and stroke. For Chinese diagnosis, the heart point is used with the same indications above, plus memory and concentration problems, emotional problems, anxiety, restlessness, psychological disturbances, easy daytime sweat, insomnia. Because heart is supreme controller and moves qi and blood, the heart point is used to control pain by moving stagnant qi and blood. The heart point is effective in treating eye problems because in oriental medicine, the heart has internal pathway or eye system that runs from the heart to the eye. Point 37 is trachea point, narrow horizontal area that starts at the center of mouth point and extends to heart point. The trachea point is very good for breathing, cough, constriction of throat, and speech problems. Point 38 is upper lung point, depression above the heart point. Put the ear probe in the heart point, then slide slightly above it until the probe falls into depression. Upper lung point is in the depression. The upper lung point is good for shortness of breath, asthma, bronchitis, swollen glands, common cold, flu, and sore throat. Lung is master of chi. Therefore, the upper lung is primary point for increasing energy and moving the chi. The upper lung point is the major point in withdrawal symptoms because it improves and regulates systemic energy, thereby contributing to feeling of well-being. Some sources say the upper lung point corresponds to the opposite lung, the contralateral lung. The lower lung point corresponds to the lung on the same side of the body as the ear, the ipsilateral lung. When looking at the left ear of a patient, the upper lung point corresponds to the right lung and the lower lung point corresponds to the left lung. The lower lung point is point 39, depression below heart point. Put the probe on the heart point, then slide slightly below it until the probe falls into a depression. The lower lung point is in the depression. Used similarly to upper lung point to enhance lung function. 
selected if the patient needs to breathe more deeply or if the patient's problem is in the lower part of the lung as in pneumonia. Use the lower lung point to treat the lung on the same side of the body as the side of the ear being treated. That is, select the lower lung point in the left ear to treat the left lung and the lower lung point in the right ear to treat the right lung. Remember, the ear at lung points stimulates vagus nerve, the longest cranial nerve, which innervates lungs, diaphragm, stomach, intestines. Lung points are sometimes called dermis points. Major dermatological points for urticaria, reducing inflammation and irritation of the skin and mucous membranes, promoting healing because lung dominates skin and mucous membranes. This includes internal mucous membranes of the mouth, nose, throat, stomach. Lung points are primary, clinically effective points for stomach and duodenal ulcers, ulcerative colitis. Point 40 is esophagus point. Take the length of the distance from the upper curvature of the mouth point to the lateral end of the lower border of the cruise of the helix. Divide this distance in half. The most medial half is esophagus area. The esophagus point is good for treating difficulty in swallowing, acid reflux disease, the esophageal reflux, acid regurgitation. Point 41 is the cardiac sphincter point. See location of point 40, the esophagus point. The half that is lateral to esophagus area is cardiac sphincter area. Very powerful point to regulate the cardiac sphincter, the upper orifice of the stomach. If incompetent, acid from stomach can enter esophagus and lead to acid reflux disease. Point 42 is stomach point, round area that begins at the end of the cruise of helix and extends halfway across the distance formed by the end of cruise and the medial border of the lower anti-helix cruise. Because pathology in the stomach area can change the shape of the stomach point, we need to know exactly where it ends in order to precisely locate the point. The best way to locate the stomach point Place the ear probe on the diaphragm point. This is point B56. Then slide off the cruise of helix. The probe will fall into a little notch that can be felt with the probe. That notch is the beginning of the stomach area. Stomach area in the shape of a semicircle extends halfway across the distance from this notch to the middle border of the lower anti-helix cruise. The stomach point treats stomach ulcers, gastralgia, dyspepsia, vomiting, nausea. The stomach point assists in rutting and ripening of food, thus contributing to the formation of qi and blood. Stomach point resolves dampness and phlegm, used in weight loss protocols to reduce appetite. Shen man and lung points are core points in treating weight problems for reasons that were discussed earlier. Point 43 is liver point, comprises the second half of the distance from the stomach point to the medial border of lower anti-helix cruise. The area is triangular in shape. Its superior border is formed by a 45 degree angle from the upper border of the stomach point to the medial border of the lower anti-helix cruise. The liver's lower border is level with the lower border of the cruise of helix. The liver point moves qi stagnation and blood stagnation, build blood, nourish yin. Treating liver point benefits the eyes, tendons, muscles, ligaments, and nerves. The liver point is a major point for facilitating digestion and for regulating hormonal and menstrual function. Liver point treats stress, depression, migraines, hepatitis, spasm, convulsions, pain as a result of liver dysfunction. Point 44 is hepatitis point, the area found within the liver area close to the lateral curvature of the stomach. Additional point to treat hepatitis that is common in China as well as a rising health problem throughout the world. 
Point 45 is relaxed muscle point. Also within the liver area, lies in a roughly circular area below the superior border of the liver area. Encourages muscle relaxation. Pain comes from stagnation, and stagnation can lead to muscular tension. Therefore, relaxed muscle point is important for relieving pain. The relaxed muscle point is central point in pain treatment strategy for muscular pain, like menstrual cramps, back pain. Good for tension and relaxation. Like gallbladder 34, Yang Ling Chen, in the body, the influential point that dominates muscles, the relaxed muscle point treats muscular pain. Point 46 is spleen point. This is a large area. First, locate the midpoint of the lower border of the liver. Now, extend a line vertically and downward to where the line intersects with curvature superior to antitragos. The area lateral to the line is spleen area. The spleen area treats spleen chi and yang deficiency or spleen chi deficiency with repletion of dampness, blood production, problems of muscles, abdominal distension, lethargy. Spleen point assists in production of white blood cells, thereby enhancing immune function, regulates digestion, assumes the function of absorption of food assigned to small intestine in Western medicine. Point 47 is Sanjo, triple warmer, the deepest point of the cavum concha at the level of intertragic notch. To locate this point, look through the intertragic notch as if it were a small window. Then place the ear probe within it and feel for deepest depression. That is the Sancho point. Assists in regulation of water passageways. Eliminates excess water or damp, treating edema. The Sancho point is theoretical construct to explain production of qi, blood, body fluid that become essential substances. Qi, blood, jin ye thus facilitates digestion and distributes essential substances to the entire body. The Sanjo point strengthens immunity, fights of exogenous evils, treats constipation. Sanjo point is effective point for relaxation and in the treatment of stress, anxiety, psychosomatic disorders. The eight points of Simba Concha are abdominal organ points. The Simba Concha is the narrowest end of the Concha. The points of Simba Concha are located in relation to each other, as are points of Cavum Concha and Scaphoid Fossa. Each point is located in a sector. Divide the length of Simba Concha horizontally in half, following natural curvature of the Simba Concha. Diagonally divide Simba Concha equally into thirds. This produces six sectors in Simba Concha. They are named as sectors 1, 2, 3, going from lateral to medial in the lower half of the Simba Concha. Sectors 4, 5, and 6 are numbered from medial to lateral in upper half of Simba Concha. Point 48 is duodenum point, located in sector 1. Duodenum point is for problems of duodenum, duodenal ulcer. The duodenum point stimulates absorptive aspects of digestion. Ulcers may occur here. Point 49 is small intestine point, located in sector 2. Treats digestive disturbances, food absorption problems, aids in separation of pure from impure. Small intestine point treats urinary tract infections due to heat in the heart shifting to the small intestine because heart is five element coupled organ of the small intestine. For the same reason, small intestine point can also treat palpitations. Point 50 is large intestine point located in sector three. Large intestine point regulates large intestine, helps with water absorption, loose tools, diarrhea and or constipation, hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis. Point 51 is appendix point, junction of sectors 2 and 3 
between small intestine and large intestine points. Appendix point treats inflammation of vermiform appendix, acute simple appendicitis. Point 52 is bladder point, sector 4 directly above large intestine point. Bladder point is used for treating frequency of urination, dribbling urination, urinary incontinence, urinary urgency, difficult urination, painful urination, enuresis, retention of urine, kidney stones, bladder infections, cloudy urination. Point 53 is kidney point. Sector 5 directly above small intestine point. Treats problems connected with bladder function with foundation yin and yang, growth, maturation, development, that is, all life cycle disorders, early puberty, early menopause, early hair graying. Kidney point is important point in respiratory disorders because in oriental medicine, kidney grasps the chi of the lungs. Kidney point treats immune disorders, builds blood, regulates body warmth. Kidney point is for kidney stones, nephritis, lumbago, tinnitus. Point 54 is ureters, junction of sectors 4 and 5 between kidney and bladder points. Treats kidney stones that have collected in ureters, assists in elimination of urine. Point 55, pancreas or gallbladder point. Sector 6, directly above duodenum point. The Chinese say gallbladder point is located in the right ear and the pancreas point in the left ear. Assists in sugar, insulin regulation, and promotes proper bile flow. Participates in the breakdown of fats, helps liver in its yang functions, treats cholecystitis, cholelithiasis, pancreatitis, diseases of bile duct, gallstones, diabetes. Pancreas point is found in the left ear and gallbladder point in the right. Sometimes the pancreas point is called diabetes point. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in our next videos.